inclination and I'm back. The motivation and I'm slack. I think this thing that's going on is that I'm black. A lot of people would like to say that I'm whack, but that's just what they say, they get whack. I think they got smacked back in the day by somebody that looked like me. <laughs> I think they're trying to pray and say, God help that nigga fall. It's going two ways. They're all wrong. Me, I make poetry, I don't make songs. I don't always do right. I don't love wrong. If you want to be me, ah, don't worry. <laughs> It'll take you too long. All right, this one's called They Don't Get It. Tell you a couple of stories and it's called They Don't Get It. All right. Let's start from the beginning and tell you what is, tell you what we was when we was kids, what I did. I was born with no clothes, no shoes. No one thing they made sure of that we had food that was good. So we lived and we struggled. And we made it this far. And I made it out of all of that without any scars. And this ain't a movie. I'm not trying to be a star, but this ain't that wars. But they don't get it. I don't think they get it. So they don't let it resonate with them. They say we had more, even though we sat on the same stoop with no food as friends. And that was then, but they don't get it. All right, dead it, dread it. Let's get back to the time when I was nine and I came to this land of no sunshine. And we were watching these people that claimed they were on the grind. And I was trying to get mine through education, you know. I was trying to do fine. I was trying to do good. I wasn't hood. Should I have been? I could have been, but I've seen people go that way, go that route. And I know what it's about. No boats will float on those waters. And every time people will see you, they look at you with laughter and what will come after. It's not something you want to be. So me, I was a good kid in school. I wasn't trying to be a fool. I was trying to learn, get my education, increase my meditation. And I was just getting to that point where my reputation was saying that I was going to be the best of them. And then I got stressed and then I had a lot of things happen to me and I was going to sit here and confess and when they didn't get it. So they let it. <laughs> nah, they didn't let it resonate. They didn't let their mind elevate. They didn't let their minds understand what it was, the pain, the strain, the things that we were trying to gain, the things that driving the other person insane as friends we sat on the same stoop. And they didn't even understand the story even though they had the scoop. So I had to play it on a beat and gave it to them in a loop. And they said they still didn't get it. So now we sit here and I met this girl. I skipped a few years because I skipped a few tears and I skipped a few cares. Who gives a f about that? Nobody wants to see me shed any tears. Mirrors. Mere simple things that I come back and I'm looking at. This time I met this lady. Maybe a girl. I made her my world. And then things got upside down and I had to look back into my past and I had to look that to my broken arm, my cast was me, myself and I. Blast. I had it. The perfect life. The perfect lady, the perfect wife. And then they all cut like a knife and broke in half. And you know people around, they started to laugh on my behalf. I was good at what I did. It took me a while to learn, but nobody could touch this kid. And I did. I learned. I learned the hard way. And in a song I said the start way was like this. I love this lady, it was kind of crazy. I learned in the end that she kind of played me. And maybe if I didn't have it that first time, <laughs> would I have been able to make this rhyme? Tell you about all the crazy shit that goes on inside of my mind because then the shit I was burying, trying not to face, that put me back into that place where I couldn't erase my emotions. And I had this devotion and I had, but they don't get it. They've been through the same thing, but they don't let it resonate. They try to think that they are on a plane that's more elevated. But you see my story before I make it get too elongated, you don't get it. So I'm going to explain that part of the story to you. It didn't turn out any good. It didn't turn out the way that I thought it would or that I thought it should. I think that maybe there was a lot of misunderstanding between the two of us and I learned in that situation that no matter how bad things get, you shouldn't cuss. You shouldn't try to fuss. <clears throat> you should just take it. Leave it, alone, leave it alone. Put it down on the ground and just lay it. And it's not that I sat here and I tried to stray from what I learned from my mother or what I saw her go through. But you see me, I couldn't bother at the time because there was a lot of things that was going on inside of my mind and I didn't know what to do because <laughs> people just didn't get it. And I know at that time I came across what I wasn't. So did it. Let it be. They don't get it. 
So I learned and my motivation came back and I said, uh, what should I do? I should express myself. I have these things I call interest myself. So I said, how am I going to make it out with money myself? These people come around and I said, how can I help them while I help myself? So I look at it and I go, if I do this and I do this and I put this and I put that. No guns, no knives, no gats. Just a couple things that we wanted to put together. And then I realized they were all rats. <laughs> and that was that. And people started to tell these stories about me. And, and then the other world that I was trying to get into, they started to doubt me. And the way that I looked, I had this vision of a crook. And I know there was mistook for these things. People don't read books. They only look at the cover. So I understand that some people don't even put their mouths over the links to try to hover. And try to see what I'm trying to do, Danny Glover. Movie star, I told you already, I don't want to be that. I didn't go that far, so let's get back to the dream. This is what I mean. When you're trying to do something that helps out other people, it looks like you're trying to help yourself, selfish. And a lot of those people, I look at them and I say they're helpless. But get this. In a line, I put it like this. I'm here trying to steal from the rich to give to the greedy, and ain't nobody that needs me. But then when I look at it on my plate, there's no food. Who's trying to feed me? Then I saw that the whole world was trying to bleed me. Then I got vain. Then I got insane. And I started to be that kid that said, fuck you people, get the fuck off my brain. I can't maintain. And then I came back. That was only a short time. That was like one month out of these rhymes. So I said to the people trying to do all that they're trying to do, I said, take that. Take Black. Take him and go to the place that you call whack. And try to take everything that he has on his back. And try to understand these facts and try to take them, they don't get it. They don't let it resonate, maybe because they haven't been to this part of the plate. Maybe they don't understand the meaning of fate, so they're sitting down trying to debate who's trying to create. They don't get it. If you see somebody suffering, what would you do? Would you help them out of the problems they're in, or would you just help yourself to two of the things that they have steal from them? I'm glad that I never tried to do that in my past. And I never tried to do it, even when the cast was on my arm and the bees were starting to swarm and they're trying to sting. And I know that this thing doesn't have the right ring. Damn, you don't get it. So I tell these people this story back close to when I'm making this rhyme. And I try to explain to them what was going on inside of my mind this time, why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. And I realize that they don't get it. So I've refrained from trying to explain anymore. And I said, maintain. Like Al Gore, I'm not trying to save the world. Maybe I messed up that line because Al Gore was trying to be Greenpeace. Please. You don't understand what I said there? Nah, you don't get it. Let's go back to when I'm talking about, about these people that don't get it. They've been fed misinformation by people who want to see me dead. People who see me as something that they should dread, but I get it. There's been a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of hate, a lot of things that I've tried Furiously the debate, and then I realize there's no way to unexplain misunderstandings. And here is not the Normandy landing, so I don't have to fight any wars. And I can maintain even with all these scars. And I've come very far. And does it matter that they don't get it? I have these plans for the future. The problem is, are they going to let it resonate? Because we're all struggling, suffering. A lot of us poor people have had enough, and it's hard to explain to those who have. Because we're here happy, glad. Making it out of the past when we were sad, but they don't get it. Because those who think that you're trying to be their enemy, they will sell you for a penny to the people that don't get it.